in the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper or the host of this uh, program. Wherever you may find me, I am known as the mighty, mighty, mighty <laughs> angel snub nub seven. I am your soul brother, number one. Wow. It was about a little over a year ago. This was your soul brother number one. And I was in a position where I had no idea of whether or not I would be here speaking with us at this time. Earlier in the year 2020, I lost my mother and my family, those around me, was watching the uh, situation I found myself in. And of course, we all must transition. That's inevitable. But what was hurting for many of my uh, close relatives, contrary to what uh, some may say, they did not want their loved one to pass right after my mother and lose two people back to back. All surgery is major surgery. There's no such thing as minor surgery. But when I was first told of my surgery, it didn't seem like it was going to be very uh, severe. My doctor, who was a soul sister, she said, oh, it's not going to be too much of nothing. I'm going to do a little cut here, do a little cut there. Pow, it's over. Maybe three-hour surgery at the max. But the thing about a surgery is the doctors, they can read x-rays and what not, but you really don't know what you're dealing with until you get to cutting and slicing. Cutting and slicing. So I went to sleep. They put me to sleep like uh, it was almost noontime. And when I woke up, it was going on 8 o'clock that night. This was a 7, 8, almost 8 hour surgery. And I survived, even though there are those, <laughs> there are those, <laughs> Negroes is sad. There are those who wish you death because they don't like what you say or whatever, but that goes with the territory. <clears throat> I survived. So it was a year, a little over a year ago, this was me. Now, I've been on YouTube since 2007. I've never asked nobody for donations. I never asked for money. I remember I had a, a penny drive one time. And they went crazy because I asked for one penny. Could everybody just give me one penny? <laughs> Folks went ballistic. They don't want me to have nothing. Sanetta can get all, you know, all kinds of donations. Tariq Nasheed, Young Pharaoh. Don't, but don't please, Lord. 
Don't give Angel Sit Up enough seven one penny. I, I had a penny drive, I think. I don't even I think I just did it just to see if they would give if people would give me one penny. <laughs> Folks always looking out to try to paint people with evil intent. Because we do have a lot of folks out here that's out for themselves. A lot of scam artists, you know, tricksters. So it makes those uh, who are actually trying, they can't get, you know, proper support because you give, they're giving all their money to all these scam artists. But that's, that's because the scam artists, See, the thing about the scammer, he makes people or she makes people like them. And they tell you what you want to hear. See, I don't tell you what you want to hear. And most, even when you look at religion, most of the small churches, the small mosques, those preachers and the activists in the community, they're doing things that's not attractive. So it, it takes a lot for them to get support because people are looking for something. If it's not drugs and alcohol, they're looking for something to make them feel good, make them high. And we don't do that here. Reality, matter of fact, that's the reason why many people turn to drugs and alcohol and religion because reality is too harsh to accept. So I have not really, I have not asked nobody, my audience for nothing since 2007. And then there was a brother prior to the Mississippi campaign, there was a brother who reached out to me and he wanted to give me $10,000. I don't know why some people do this. Because if I was Umar Johnson or Polite or Sarnetta or any of these type of people, I would have jumped on that, took that brother's money. And the brother was telling me what we can do. But I told the brother, I appreciate that you trust me enough. I appreciate that you like me enough to want to donate to, to me. 10 grand, but I told him, quite honestly, brother, I, I don't know what to do. And I didn't. I don't know. I didn't have no idea. I didn't know what to do with that donation except the same old, same old stuff that these folks been doing, you know, for the last 50 some years since the end of the civil rights era. So I mean, and, and that, you know, so I'm going to take your $10,000. What do you expect to get out of it except it gets spent? What is the benefit? I, I did not want that on my chest. I did not. My conscience bothers me that I'm going to take $10,000 and I can't produce nothing. There's no benefit. So I heard that he found some people to work with and they don't have nothing. But you can't blame that on me because I would rather you just save the money. And, and put in a bank or something, invest in something, get some interest. I can't do nothing. Now, it's very funny that brothers like that or sisters, whoever, that have that type of money, now that we have the Mississippi campaign, I, I'm not getting, I'm not getting no offer. <laughs> I'm not getting any offers like that. But it's all good. So when people began to learn that I was sick in the hospital and whatever, a lot of those who know me reached out to me, how can I donate? Can I help you? And also during this time, there were people who just wanted to help me with the internet bill. They just want to show appreciation for Angel Snuffin' Up 7. There's a lot of people, they don't want Angel Snuffin' Up 7 to be appreciated. They don't want Angel Snuffin' Up 7 to have no money. They don't, I only get 10 views 
only have 10 subscribers. What the, what the, they don't want Angel Snub Nub 7 to have. Nothing. Dang. So, I decided to uh, create a cash app. And I had an old, old uh, PayPal account. And I opened those up so people who wanted to do that, they could donate and help me. Now, I never said I was dying. And those who were around, you know I never told you that I was dying. I said that I'm all right right now in 2020 because I paid my bills four months in advance. So I know the rest of that year was going to be fine. But I'm not working. And things can, you know, I don't know how this is going to turn out. So I much appreciate any help that you could give me during this period of time. Fortunately for me, because I did not have leeches like uh, these two uh, women, there was no leeches on me. I did very fine with, uh, with the money that I was making while I was driving and the insurance that I had was really, really nice. But they only pay 80%. I was in the hospital for almost two, two weeks. It's $800 a day just to be in the hospital, at least to say all the stuff that goes along with your operation. So I had $18,000 out of pocket. Nobody donated close to $18,000. Because how I handle my money, because of how I live, I was able to handle that bill. I paid $18,000. I paid my car off. I paid my credit cards off. I did all that. Because I got away from people like uh, Sister Noble and, and, and uh, uh, Aaliyah. Because I didn't have those type of people around me. I began to just look out for myself to, to take care of myself. And so, right now, I'm doing pretty well because of deciding, concentrate on me. So, I'm well. But I still will help others if I can. That's not, no. I'm always a giving person. I don't mind sharing with others. <clears throat> So there was no pity party. There were people who wanted to help your brother because they appreciate what I do. You may not, but there are those out of my 10 subscribers who give me 10 views, show concern. Not, not $18,000 worth of concern so but I do appreciate everyone who donate to Angel Snub Nub 7 I don't even talk about my medical fund I don't even talk about cash out and go fund me I don't even talk about those type of things because you know if you want to donate or if you want to help me or show appreciation you know what to do I don't have to go Beg you every day, donate to my cash app. I don't make videos. Hey, you ain't donate to my cash app. You ain't helping me. I don't do those type of things. It's an honor and a privilege just the fact that you are here listening to what I have to say. And that's, that's fine. But in order to be liberated and free, unfortunately, it's going to take more than talk to get the job done. Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. I'll catch y'all on the flip. Peace.